Okay, so let's review everything here, just to give you a good understanding of what we've gone through so far. Okay, so let's go for the lower back stoppers, as they're known. So what we're going to do, we're going to measure from across the top of the hips, the ilium. So when you put your hand on your hips, you're going to go across, level across there. So feel the tops of those ilium. There you are. And then you're going to go across, a line across there, and then you're going to go one finger width up. And that is where you're going to make your moves one and two. So, palpate the belly, thumbs like that, palpate, and then you're going to draw the skin slack laterally towards yourself. Depth, then challenge towards the spine, sort of 45 degrees down and towards the spine. Breathe in, breathe out, and then move across. Okay, that's move one. Move two, using your fingers. Palpate again. Feeling for that belly of the muscle on top there. And then what you're gonna do with the fingers, you're going to pull the skin slack away from you. Then get some depth down there. Then just hook those fingers, bring challenge, tension. Get the client to breathe in and out. And on the out breath, bring it back. Good. Okay, for now we're going to go from there to moves three and four. Now, if you've got a client that you can pull their underpants down a little bit, their underwear, just to find that gluteal crease there, the gluteal fold that where it ends, so it's two fingers up from that, there's no chance my son's letting me show the, the, the crack of his buttocks, um, but that's where it is. And then you're gonna measure uh, two fingers up and then two thirds across from the side of the body to that midline, and then it's that lateral third there. That's your spot, okay? And you'll feel that muscle underneath you. That's just going horizontally like that I'm just showing you. Okay, so I'm just showing you to the camera side. So I'm gonna do it, so you do it on your side, on the left side first. So remember you're starting on the person's left side always. So I'm gonna measure it across there. Okay, now remember with this one, it's a little more upward, so you might have to bend your knees a little bit down. This can be sensitive. And breathe in and breathe out. Depth, challenge, and roll up. Now, remember, you're going to reassess these after when you come back to these. You're going to do another move on these three and four. Um, so, now, this is the second way to palpate. I'll get back to that in a second. So, the ilium and the greater trochanter, the sort of hip bone, if you like. Midway, this is if you can't get the person's underpants, you know, slide them down slightly, and then you just measure the same way. Okay? So that's a, that's a great way to do it. If someone's got clothes on, they don't want to take their clothes off. So pull down gently, depth, challenge inwards, and then roll up. Okay, so just showing you that move. And lift up as you go up. So what I was saying is, when you're doing this, on the out breath, there we are, um, try and get us, if you can feel, so now we're gonna do a two minute break. See if you can get a feel for any differences either side, if it was uh, for the person, if that was sensitive, because you're gonna reassess that afterwards. Okay, we got the holding point at the, uh, right at the, the, the crease of the buttocks there, right in the midline there, the ischial tuberosity. Now from the crease of the knee, popliteal fossa, three finger widths up, Remember to turn that thumb around. See, you want to be on the inside of that tendon. I was telling you before. So you start off in that midline, three centimeters, uh, three finger widths up, which is basically three centimeters. In, see, look at that, right on that side. And then, so there's the tendon. So you're not on that tendon, you're on the inside of that. And you get the client to breathe in and out. And away you go across there. Okay, a medial move. And then, you're going to go from there, the same knee crease, and the hip bone, the greater trochanter, that bump on the side of the buttocks there, if you don't know your anatomy. And then right in the midline. So you're gonna go right in the middle, measure that out, and then it's, uh, see it's about the same as the middle finger where that goes, it's just what I'm showing there as a measurement. So. 
right in the middle, and you're going to be on that iliotibial band on the side of the leg. So you're going to be in the middle of the side of the leg as well. So it's the middle and the middle. And then down, this could be sensitive on a lot of people, so don't go too deeply. There's depth, and then challenge towards the ceiling, and then, you see I'm really lifting up with those fingers. And the same on the other side. So now we go to the right side. Now if you do this right, you might, and you've got good palpation skills, when you do this move, this, move, this one now, um, you could feel like a little, a little blip, if you like, at that holding point with those three fingers as you get a, a resonance going through there. So just remember, there's the tendon, you're medial to that. More central, if you like, if you don't know those terms. So we just take that there, a little bit of depth, Challenge to the way I'm going. Okay, as you can just see there. And once again, you get the client to breathe in and out. This is a challenge there. And roll it across there. Okay. All right, so then, once again, we're going to repeat this move again. So measure it out, midway, and then midway on the side of the thigh. Okay, just to, again, just remember it can be uh, pretty sensitive there. Okay, right, then you're going to give your two minute pause again. Come back, and now you're going back to those same, you're going to repeat these moves that you did three and four. So remember how to measure those. And now, if it was sensitive to the person, you can ask the person, you know, is it still as sensitive as before? And you pretty much always find out. I'm just showing you the other way to measure there. So you've got both ways to measure. There's the bump, greater trochanter, top of the ilium that you checked for uh, on, on the first one, the one and two. Um, and then see if they said, oh, that was sensitive. You can um, simply ask them, is it just as sensitive? And nine times out of 10, it won't be. And likewise, you can objectively find, does it feel as tight if one side was tighter than the other? So there you go, I'm just doing that. Two fingers up from that gluteal fold there, the gluteal crease. Two thirds out, and so you say it's a, it's you're reassessing as well as releasing more, and there you go. So there, and there you have the person. If you're just doing the lower back maneuver, if you're just doing lower back, then a BRM one, then you'd have the person per person turn over. So you would do that um, after a two minute pause. So. Once you've done those last maneuvers, two minute pause, and you can get them to roll over, and then take, you know, let them do the two minute pause. Remember this is a very slow move. It's over this big tendon. So really try to just wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, as it rolls slowly. You'll feel it roll underneath your thumbs. You come to the other side of your thumbs. Okay. and then you'll do their right leg. So once again, it's your left side first. So feel for that tendon. And once again, palpate it. Come in fairly down towards the table. Once you've got that tendon, down, get some depth, challenge back up into that tendon, creating some torque and then slowly releasing that tendon until it comes back underneath your thumbs there. 